Great Center. Well, thanks, Chuck. We're having a nice and cool in here. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, well, first and foremost, I think he's out of the bill. I mean, he's out of here, but I mean, he, talk about a class act. I mean, our quarterback that we have, I mean. But uh, I mean, I'll say it now to all of you, and you probably already know it. But he epitomizes the word team. He epitomizes what you know the message Chuck brought here, and uh, the one we all believe in about selflessness and not needing a pat on the back, just doing your job and being a great example on and off the field. So we got the right guy under center. Um, also, um, thank you. You know, secondly, I'd like to just thank everyone here um, for their support. Cancer Research, um, Chuck Strong, and um, I don't think we could have a, a better city uh, to have that support, um, a better um, lady that supports Chuck and Tina, and uh, you know, just cancer, it's a dreadful disease, I'm sure it's affected a lot of people in here, um, it's affected uh, very close loved ones in my family, and I just don't think there's a better city or a uh, somewhat spearheading um, this fight um, than Chuck Pagano and um, his uh, will, um, his will to win, his will to not be defeated, um, his positive energy and attitude um, throughout the whole process of, of, of helping to build this team in the midst of it being stricken by a serious uh, illness is just, uh, it's something to behold and it's something I'll always remember and uh, uh, I was told to come up here for a quick overview of the draft process, so I'm going to have to give you the cliff notes. Um, the, uh, you know, it's such an important process, and like I've said, it's a lifeblood to any organization. You get these players for four or five years in your building, um, they grow together, they help to strengthen your foundation, they grow into pillar players, um, you know, that could end up being the Robert Mathises and the, and, and, and the Reggie Waynes of the future. But that can only happen, you know, in the right culture with the, in the right leader leadership and owner, and we have that here. It's very special. Um, so we start out with, 12, with about 12,000 seniors in the entire country that, you know, that's Division One, one double A, Division Two, Division Three, NAIA, you know, junior colleges get thrown in there, then you have the juniors, and then in, uh, in May, you know, we have meetings, and spring meetings are called, and you whittle it down to about 850 graded players. And you send your scouts scattered throughout the United States. And then, you know, you go through school visits and um, multiple school visits. And then you have meetings in December and you go through all these players and you grade them on their, we grade, we cast a very wide net because we want to bring all the talent, you know, uh, all together. And then we figure out if they're the right people um, that fit the vision that, you know, Mr. Ursai, uh, Chuck, and myself had. So it is a, a, it's a long and arduous process, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, we all enjoy our, our jobs. It, uh, it's competitive um, because there's a lot of other teams that are looking at the same guys you are. Uh, but we teach our guys to go the extra mile. The bar's been set high since we arrived here. We expect it from everyone in the building, and everyone has really grown together um, uh, in such a, a family-type way. And you know, going through this past season, it's just it just made us that much closer. Um, you know, so again, with the the draft quickly approaching here. Um, we've got from 12,000 to 800 to 300 or so players on a draft board, and then now it's down to six. So, I mean, that's really a lot of narrowing. And, um, you know, I wish I had I wish I had more picks, but, you know, then we wouldn't have T.Y., we wouldn't have Monte, and that's just how a cookie crumbles. So, maybe we'll, maybe we, you'll never know, though. You never know what, what would happen on draft day, and um, we could acquire more picks. Uh, we'll see. Um, we have the 24th pick in the draft. There, uh, like I told the reporters yesterday, when they asked me what 24 will look like, I said, "Well, history shows. I mean, if, when you leave here, just Google it, and uh, you'll see the great players that have been taken at 24. I mean, Dallas Clark was taken at 24. Um, Stephen Jackson, Aaron Rodgers, to name a few. Um, you know, Chris Johnson. Um, there's, there's been some really, really good players. Um, but again, you know, I, I feel, you know, Chuck and I talk about it all the time." You know, it's got to be someone um, staring us in the face and on that board that we feel is going to be 
that player that fits here, that fits this moment in time, uh, that's going to help get us where we want to go. And, and, and from day one, Chuck and I always talked about it. You know, it's, it's really it comes down to you have all the information, but it comes down to instincts and your gut and, and what all those years of football. And she, Chuck's been in football since, you know, you know, uh, since probably since you know before I was born. But, but you know, <laughs> uh, so. I'm sure I'll wait for something, but anyway. Uh, but anyway, um, you know, when we when when it comes down to it, we want talented guys. Um, but we have to, you have to couple that with the right human beings. And in free agency, I really feel like we got the right guys that were all cut from the same cloth. I mean, you read all their quotes, and it was like they were all from the same family, like they were brothers. They all had the same kind of way about them, how they thought about this game and how they love this game, how they want to be the best they can be. And there's, there was, there's no I in team with these, these guys we acquired. And we're going to keep that um, uh, going with our draft picks. We have a portion we put on, on the tag um, on each player that we feel has all those traits um, off the field, all the intangibles, and all the physical traits to be able to be a very good player in this league. Um, so we try to get as many horseshoe players as we can. We got quite a few last year, and we, we fared pretty well. Um, but again, we're, we're, we're in good hands. We have a great owner that supports us like no other. I mean, we beat, me and Chuck beat a dead horse all the time. Every time we get off the phone, we say he's the best. So uh, anyway, um, I, I guess there's, if anyone has any questions, um, feel free to shoot. I think I have uh, a couple minutes left before I get the hook. Anybody? How deep is this year's draft? I mean, the talent in the draft. You know, it's uh, at certain positions you wish it was deeper, uh, but that's like every year. And uh, you know, I'd say corner, safety, um, and then the offense, defensive lines. Where I said even this week in the press conference that that's the uh, you know the games won and lost in the trenches, and um, I feel like it's a really good trench trench draft, so to speak. So there's a lot of big bodies. Um, that can move people and play with some um, physicality. And uh, we enjoy watching those guys. There, there's not that many people, you know, walking around the face of the earth that are 320 pounds that, you know, are light on their feet and, and can play on their toes and, uh, and, and on their feet and not stay off the ground. So, um, you know, it's deep in, in certain respects, but um, you always wish there was more. Thanks again, everyone, for coming and supporting Chuck Strong.